Hello everybody and welcome to Dragon Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to overclock the GTX EVGA Super Super Clocked 960. What you're going to need is the EVGA Overclock Scanner X, EVGA Precision X16. Those will be when you download the drivers, so they will be there. And then you're going to need Tech Power Up GPU Z. Okay, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to this bit video is basically just going to show you exactly how you overclock it. At the end of this video, you're going to see that I actually overclock the card too far and it gets very unsteady. Um, so the maximum that you're going to want to overclock this card to is about 100. If you overclock it too far and it doesn't blue screen, I got lucky at the end, then you're going to want to restart your computer and it should be okay. Now, another cool feature about the EVGA Precision X16 overclock scanner no, not the overclock scanner, my mistake, the EVGA Precision X16, just that. There's a key boost mode that you can uh, enable that will let you overclock it, that will overclock it automatically. I recommend doing that for people that don't really know how to overclock. Um, but if you don't want to do that, then this is a good, uh, this is a very good um, video to see how. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and I please subscribe and like if you, if you like this, and um, have a nice day. Okay, everybody, we're back, and we scored 15,396. Okay. And then our FPS was 256 average. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to close out of this and this. And make sure you close out of it, because sometimes this won't work properly. We're currently running at about 149 Fahrenheit or 64 Celsius, and our fan is pretty high right now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go here and we're going to up it by about 20. And we're not going to do our memory offset yet. We're just going to apply this. And now we're running at about 1299 megahertz. So after that's applied, we're going to want to go in here and rerun the benchmark. about 1803 now what we're going to want to do is that's a, since that's a little bit too high we're going to want to come back down to 50 and then that's going to bring us to 1788 and that is still too high so we're going to come back down to about 20 and that apply that so there we go that is okay and now we're going to rerun the benchmark with with um, the 1329 megahertz. 
Okay, we're back. And our card went, we went a little bit too high in it and it didn't work properly. At the end, it did crash almost. So it went back down to 251 FPS. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to close this out and we're going to want to bring this down to about maybe 115 and apply that. And we're at 1394 megahertz now, and then we're gonna rerun the overclock scanner at benchmark real quick, just to see what it does. Okay, we're back and as you can see, we're still not doing very good here. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably keep it at about 100 since that was our last steady benchmark at about 272 clear FPS and 1379 megahertz. We're going to bring this back to about 20 and reapply that. So you come back over here and we can see 1363. That's about, it's a lot closer to that. So that is how you properly overclock the EVGA GTX 960. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have learned something out of it. 